So what is the difference between horizontal and vertical scaling? Horizontal scaling adds more machines or nodes to a system, enhancing traffic and data processing capacity. This method offers high availability and fault tolerance since other machines can take over if one fails. It is cost effective due to the use of commodity hardware, but increases complexity in data distribution and system coordination. Vertical scaling, on the other hand, enhances an existing machine's power by adding more CPU, RAM or storage for better performance. However, it has limits on its upgrade potential and can become very expensive compared to using multiple commodity hardware machines. Horizontal scaling is more popular due to its ability to handle large, scalable, fault-tolerant distributed systems, especially with the rise of cloud computing and microservices, and it is widely used in big tech like Google and Meta. Vertical scaling remains relevant for applications needing high performance hardware, but is limited by a single machine's capacity. For instance, companies running SAP Enterprise Resource Planner might upgrade hardware to meet increased processing needs. A useful tip to help remember is that for horizontal scaling, think more machines, and for vertical scaling, think bigger machines. For more up-to-date technical interview solutions, make sure to check out techprep.io.